I'm Peter Schoonmaker. I'm chair of the Collaborative Design Program at Pacific Northwest College of Art. I'm really excited to be here at PNCA and a little humbled to be running a design program. I come from a background in evolutionary biology that got me into uh, geographic information systems and uh, collaboratively solving problems with you know all sorts of stakeholders. I mean, it was kind of a, a, a practice that was uh, could be humbling and frustrating but really gratifying. Uh, I kind of came to a place where uh, we were seeing a lot of the same proposals or proposed solutions over and over and over again uh, and it was about a year ago that I, I taught a, a section of a course for another wonderful program here, Applied Craft and Design, and pushed out a couple of questions to the students in that program to design me solutions uh, for very practical, everyday problems. And um, they're the kind of questions that I wouldn't even ask of um, an environmental science major or um, you know a geography major, which were um, or the kind of students I was used to interacting with. I just thought, well, I, I couldn't ask that of those students because would, they would just run for the hills. But I thought, well, I'll challenge these students because they're creative and they're makers and they're designers. And they just blew me away with the solution they came up with. I was, you know, it's like one of those times when you're uh, teaching and you kind of tear up and you kind of have to look away. I'm like, I can't look at these guys. I'm just so thrilled with what they're doing. It's like, this is why you teach. And I remember saying to J.P. Rohr, who's the chair of the Applied Craft and Design Program, it's like, I want to work with Guys. I want to look at these kind of students that are just creatively fearless, um, and uh, that's rare. The collaborative design program is really focused to a large extent about, around wicked problems. So wicked problems are uh, problems that don't have an, an obvious solution, uh, and they don't have just one solution, they often have many, and the nature of the solutions uh, are that generally when you uh, come up with something with a fix for a wicked problem, you create a couple of other problems. And so the more you try and fix it or solve it, the more problems you generate. Uh, often nobody's in charge. Uh, so climate change, uh, resource depletion, you have kind of multiple stakeholders. And so they're big, messy uh, problems that kind of require addressing them at multiple scales, multiple stakeholders, so you know, big picture, but then you have to get granular as well. Uh, they're really uh, very difficult. And I think what designers bring to that is an, an ability to kind of see in three dimensions or even four dimensions through time. Uh, the collaborative design program and PNCA in general, uh, being situated in, in Portland is really a unique opportunity. It's a funny town. It's really uh, been at the vanguard of sustainability for 20 years. So it's kind of like a little laboratory for sustainability. And then what's really interesting and, and where I hope to kind of expand beyond just Portland is that we do have in Oregon this urban-rural divide. And there's still a big open question of, well, how do we push some of our sustainable solutions and approaches into places that aren't quite there yet. So there's a lot of opportunities to not just stay in kind of a sustainability bubble, but to see if we can kind of make this real and make this the kind of practice that if you're a student or a collaborator coming from Kansas City or Racine, Wisconsin, or you know Sarasota, Florida, that um, it's relevant. You know, we're hoping to, to give designers that come out of this program a unique set of tools and, and really one of them is accelerating their ability to uh, work with other people. And a lot of times you come out of graduate school, whether it's in design or architecture or science, and you've learned your discipline. You know how to design, but you don't know how to work with other people. You don't know how to brainstorm and facilitate. You don't know the, kind of the basics of uh, kind of a business plan when to insert yourself and when to back up, when to lead, when to follow. And those are kind of life skills that you know you can spin your wheels coming out of the graduate program for five, ten years figuring that out. And so what we're trying to offer here is really more of a crucible, uh, which is tough, where you learn that stuff now, so you come out and you're ready to be a collaborative designer and a collaborator coming out of the program. And I think most 
in the real world, most people do have to collaborate and they do have to kind of learn the dance of collaboration or you know their career doesn't really go very far or it's stalled as they're kind of learning that. One thing that, that um, really drives me with uh, this program and, and these particular students is um, I want them to come out of this program ready to work, ready to have a practice. I want to build that reputation that, oh, you went through the collaborative design program, then you're ready to hit the ground running.